Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Father, we thank you for you are a good God. According to your word in First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 34, you are a good God. You are a good master. You are a good savior. Thank you for your love, which is steadfast over us. It is constant. He is not a kind of love that one cannot rely on. Your love does not diminish. Your love does not reduce. Your love is not contaminated. It is pure and undiluted, and it endures forever. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Today I pray that the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. No need will be left unmet in your life. God will not abandon you. The Lord will hold your right hand and take you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. The Lord will give you your space even in this life. There will be no shortage of God's provision in your life. The Lord will release upon you magnificence of his glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I pray that today you shall be delivered from demonic attacks. You will be delivered from strange demonic attacks. God will give you special help in this time of trouble, in the midst of economic challenges, you will flourish, your business will flourish, your children will flourish in the name of Jesus. Your strength will not be wasted today. Your life will not be crushed today. God will not withdraw his protection from your life in the name of Jesus. Every great story in the kingdom is a product of divine encounter with God. I pray today you will have a fresh encounter with God. The encounter that will stay with you all through your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Abraham had an encounter with God. Even at 75, his life never remained the same. Moses had an encounter with God at the burning bush, his life never remained the same. Peter had an encounter with Christ, his life never remained the same. One genuine encounter with God is worth more than a lifetime of fruitless efforts. And so today I pray you will encounter God in your business in your academics, in all that you do. The Lord will meet up with you and turn your life around for good. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will surround your life with his comfort. The Lord will lead you and guide you in the path of truth and in the path of righteousness. In the name of Jesus, he will bring his mercy to you daily. You will not be frustrated you will not be disillusioned. In the name of the Lord Jesus, no power will interfere with God's plan for your life. No power will interfere with God's plan for the life of your children. This day shall be a new day for you, a day of light, a day of success, a day of growth, a day of expansion. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Bible says, now is our salvation nearer than when we first began. And so I pray that today you will move forward in the process of salvation. Salvation is not an event, but a process that starts with justification, that moves on continually with sanctification, with the end of it being glorification when Christ comes or when we are called home. I pray that the process of salvation will not be truncated in your life. You will not backslide. You will not give up on God. It is well with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.